Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm Lisa. I do nail art and nail art competitions. Um, I do tutorials on everything lovely. Um, this is a, a demonstration. As you saw there, I did the uh, Dave and I've done Dave, Camel, and Carla, Haley, and Laura. I am now doing Joe today. I am taking a little bit of inspiration from uh, Natalie Mugridge. Um, and her crystal um, uh, uh, mouse that she did on YouTube the other day. I absolutely love Natalie, she's an absolute who and go along and have a look at her YouTube channel. She's absolutely fantastic and funny as heck. So today uh, we're doing Jode. Jode is a pink girl, she is uh, in the pink corner and we are going to crystal her name. So I'm taking my Crystal Totalis uh, from Nail Chemy and my 8mm liner brush. Um, so everything I use here today is from Nail Chemy by the Crystals um, and it's in honour of uh, Nail Chemy and their competitions and their tournaments. Um, I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, I just nail, I love Nail Chemy and their company. Um, so the crystals I'm using here today are uh, either from Amazon or I've bought them from other companies. Uh, I've had them a long time. I very rarely do crystals. I'm not that great at it. Uh, but today I'm going to give it a try. Um, so I'm taking my dotting tool. I thought I was going to use my dotting tool, but it turned out to be an absolute pain in the backside. Uh, so I'm going to, in the end, you'll see me starting to use my nail Kami picker upper. Um, for picking up the crystals and I'm just placing them on the name Jode. Um, so a little bit backstory, um, if you've been with me a while you know what this is all about but if you're new, hello! Um, I am doing a nail can be seen for a, a demonstration on how to do competitions. This will be my nail can be seen uh, and each part that I'm doing is uh, in honour of the company and the ambassadors and crystal uh, and Jode is very good with her crystals and her crystal placement, so I just wanted to sort of honour Jode. So here I am just placing those crystals on. Um, it's going to be uh, the tinier, tiny ones, which was difficult considering all these crystals were mixed up, but I managed to do it in the end. Uh, I then go in with my little silver caviar beads, which are from Nail Kami, um, and I'm going to outline the design with my, uh, my caviar beads as well. Uh, I hope this video finds you well, um, we're okay, everything's okay at this end, uh, just getting on with these videos. So these are the caviar beads um, and they're really really tiny little balls um, and I'm just going to take some base coat and my 8mm liner and just sort of very gently go on the outside of those crystals, you don't want to touch them um, because it will um, ruin the facets of the crystals. Uh, and then take the caviar beads and place them between each crystal to create a... Um, it just finishes off the crystals really, It looks they look better with these caviar beads, it looks finished, it looks um, tidier. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, please find all the other videos and how I've made all the other ones in my playlist below. Um, I hope you're liking these videos. Um, please like and subscribe and let me know how you're getting on with them.
Trying to get my feelings on this shit higher Do uh, another line if I get tired She a real bad bitch, call her spit fire When you look at all that shit, make me spit fire When I didn't put these bitches on my fucking rider Oh well, oh shit, I'm a fucking liar So this is the mouse uh, design that I got from Natalie Mugridge Shout out to her uh, she's an absolute phenomenal artist um, and she is really good with her crystal placements and I'm not. I didn't have the exact crystals to do what she did uh, but I am trying to attempt it here. So I finished the lettering um, and as you can see it looks a little bit more finished um, and these are the crystals that I used. I don't have the um, teardrop crystal that she used for the belly so I used a metal finding um, and put some crystals on the middle of it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I use three big crystals for the eyes and the nose, uh, for the eyes and mouth, um, using my crystal totalis and my picker upper. Um, so I'm taking the dotting tool and just scooping up a tiny bit. I've got a bit too much there. And I'm going to place the two bigger ones in sort of the shape of a triangle. Um, so you've got the two crystals at the top of the two points of the triangle and then afterwards you're going to put the nose, at, uh, sorry, the mouth at the bottom. So these are the pointy back crystals um, and I believe these are AB crystals. I'm not a big one on crystals, so I don't know. Um, and so I'm going to place them into the crystal totalis and try not to touch the um, gem glue with onto the crystals or it ruins them and ruins the shine. Uh, so I'm, I'll post pictures of what, Neil, uh, what Natalie Mugridge did, um, but she started off with the two points and then the bottom one. Um, and you'll see me messing around with it because I was struggling to um, get the size and obviously I'd done it too low down, obviously I needed to counterbalance the belly and what have you, so um, yeah, I was just messing around with it at this point. <laughs> It was fun to do and it looked uber cute at the end, but it's not a Natalie Mugridge crystal, it, it really isn't, I'm not that great, but I tried. <laughs> So here I'm just putting on the ears, I'm not actually fixing them in place, I'm just sort of putting them there to measure and make sure I'd got it right and that the spacing was okay. And then I cured in the lamp for 60 seconds whilst moving the crystals around, uh, <coughs> sorry, moving, moving the thing around so that it, um, the LED lamp was able to penetrate through that, um, through the crystals and what have you. Um, I also cover my gel whilst I'm working because obviously I don't want it to cure. And then I go in with the bottom one, uh, the little mouse's nose. Uh, I keep saying mo nose because the black one's for the nose. So this is a black one. That's the nose of the uh, mouse. And I just sort of fed a tiny little bit of uh, crystal, crystal totalis in between those crystals and then place in this pointy backed uh, black crystal um, and placed it in for its nose. Um, like I said, you need to be really careful in what you're doing and so that you don't touch the crystal totalis with the gem glue. So now I'm going in and putting on the little rosy cheeks um, of the mouse. So I'm feeding that gel in between those crystals and then putting in the little pinker crystals. Um, again, I can't really remember where I got these from. I think I got some from Neo. I got some in collections and um, I, I just found them in my crystal stash. Um, some of them are Swarovski crystals and some of them are not. Um, I don't like wasting crystals on projects and stuff um, or proper Swarovski crystals on uh, proper projects because I just find it they're so expensive and I don't like wasting them <clears throat> but if I can find you know replicas I'll use them in the um, in final pieces and what have you so I'm going to take these um, do its ears like a Mickey Mouse ears um, and get these little crystal beads these were the only ones that I could find that were big enough for the ears and that were pink um, like I said it's it's not um, anything on Natalie Mugridge she's brilliant but you know I just did what I could and with what equipment I had um, you can get crystals from uh, Nail Kami. they do sell them um, and they are absolutely beautiful and I have their neon crystals that they have 
Um, so this is the metal finding that I was going to use for its belly and then I fill it with um, tiny crystals um, in the end. Uh, in between each stage I do cure it, so each time I put a picture on what step I'm doing uh, with, in line with Napoli Muggridge. Um, so I'm doing its feet and its arms or its paws or whatever um, and uh, yeah now it's arms so yeah I thought it was actually cute in the end it did look rather cute and my son was really pleased with it so and considering I've never done crystals like this before or crystal placements like this before I was quite pleased with it and it just goes to show you can do anything once you try it <clears throat> So now I'm going to take some more caviar beads in the silver um, and I'm going to uh, get some base coat and put a little bit onto my mixing palette and then put some uh, caviar beads into that mixture so it's easier to pick up and I'm going to create the tail and the whiskers of the little mouse. And there it is done, all finished with a little mousy. Um, I thought it was really good, um, considering it was my first time ever doing a little uh, mouse in crystals, I was very pleased with it. Um, so hop along to uh, Natalie Mugridge's uh, YouTube channel, she's actually good and she's better at explaining it than me, um, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and like I said, I was pleased with it in the end. Um, so now I'm going to finish off the edges with these tiny uh, kite, uh, kite shaped crystals. Um, they um, again was in my stash and I'm just finishing them off in the corners. Uh, so I'm going to put three in the corners uh, with a little crystal in the middle and some caviar beads. Um, I cure it for 60 seconds each time I do the corners and use my crystal totalis gem glue.
and that's it finished and I, I really did like it so now I'm taking some matte top coat and being careful of not to touch those crystals I am going in with my 8mm liner brush from Nail Commit and just going around the outside and around the edges of those crystals and uh, not to touch them and sealing them all in around the edges and just tucking in between all those crystals um, and matte top coat in the whole lot. And that's what it would have looked shiny if I'd left it shiny and I think it's just a little bit overpowering so that's why I did the matte top coat. And they are the four corners done. There's uh, Dave, Camel and uh, Carla's corner in blue, Hayley in red and Laura in green. Um, please find my playlist below to see those how I did them. And then there's Joe's corner with the little mouse and it's cute. We need a name for it but... <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe and uh, take care and stay tuned for some more videos to see how we get on with this nail commissioning. Thank you very much for watching, take care guys, bye!